completely covered. This is this right here is the test for this machine. Get the side of the chuck on you. Hey Todd, can I use your shirt again? <laughs> <laughs>
That's fucking weird. <laughs> Get better ropes. I think the bushings are fun. They are back to this. Oh, yeah. Get those bronze ones. <laughs>
try and pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> he stalled it.
He was burning some melt right there. I smell melt! Yeah, dude! He did the gear! Look it. There was, there was some belt there, buddy. It's all right.
All right, so what it was is I floored it, came down the trail, yeah. ran over a log, I think, Fairless Front found the log. That's a log. I went airborne, and the tractor went to the left. My left front tire hit this rock, made me flip over. And I landed somewhere over here when I broke my leg. Uh, not even a year later, I'm back up on the trail. Put my name on a fucking rock that I own. Uh, about $20,000 worth of medical bills as of this injury. Uh, two metal rods, 14 pins, metal plate, and a handful of metal mesh. Goddamn rock had to be there. <laughs> Well, I extended the, the tractor since then. Seems like it's working out really well. Uh, I just have to put the date on it. Thumbs up, guys. Do you remember the first time we brought him out here? And we were like, damn, that thing's impressive, but it's freaking loud. Yeah, it is. It's still impressive, and yeah. it's still fucking loud. It's not as loud as it was. Sounds like you quieted it down a little bit, but... I you think we're just getting used to it. work to that thing. I think we're just used to the noise. Maybe. So I want to say thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Always thumbs up, and as I always say, fuck my heaters. Talk to you guys all later. Hey right, guys, how you doing? Lucky here from lucky 7 Mudmos, youtube.com I think I am done with the updates for this season, unless if something breaks. I'm going to do a little complete uh, rundown. Hopefully you guys will like it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Right now I'm just going to do a swirl around the machine. Get a pretty good idea. All right, guys. Now I got the lights off. A little run down. And I do have one light out right there, Maka light. Red Maka light, I gotta fix that. You're asking why I have lights all over the place. If you're trail riding, at night, the machine breaks down. Just not for show. I got the lights to be able to work on the tractor. And I think it adds a nice touch to it.
All right, so we're going to start off with uh, a few things that I've done uh, with the tractor. I'll probably miss a few things, but we'll see what happens here. Hopefully I get everything. Uh, Stair wheel was custom made by me. Uh, very simple. Is you get a piece of chain, wrap it around a five gallon bucket, tack weld it all, then finish welding it, and weld that to your steering column. I got myself oil temperature gauge. This here is a toggle switch for my winch. This is a toggle switch for my lights. Push button start. Engine kill switch. Another engine kill switch for the fuel. I have Everstart battery from Walmart. I've had this one here since I built the Lucky 7. Looks kind of rat nest, but that's what it is. Got my nifty little ear horn. Inside the toolbox, I have another battery. I have a fuel pump, uh, fuel tank. Inside this ammo box, is where I can put some tools. I got a phone charger there with a fusible link. The shifter was in the center, what they call a, a nut breaker. Uh, when I first built the Lucky 7, as you seen in the video, I was shifting it. I got rid of that and I put a second generation shifter on the side. Uh, the steering itself uh, is the second generation Craftsman steering. That's how I hooked up the hood. It lifts up like this. And to be able to hold it up, I got a second ammo box right here for some of my electrical. I lift this up. And if you see a little nut right there, like you know, so now I can be able to do that. Or I could take the hood completely off if I wanted to. And how the hood is uh, put on, I welded some two one inch pipes up to a certain length. Half inch pole, welded that all together. On the hood, I put little uh, pins that go inside the pipe to be able to get my swing action. On the hood here, I had to uh, cut off this from a running board uh, from another machine. The weld, I had a problem with my welder, but I could have grinded that down and made it a little bit better. But you know what? Everything is not perfect. It's my own way of doing it. It's a popcorn weld, but. It is what it is. Uh, does have, like I said, second generation steering in there. The hood is actually uh, from here down is one hood, and from here up had to fabricate out of a piece of steel. It don't look fancy inside, as you see I. Tack welded all the way around, had some support, cut the hole for more breather room. Uh, let's see. This here is a, a hood vent from a roof. You could go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they have those. And I just cut a piece of in front, put the screen there. As you guys all say, I say, fuck the haters. If I was a front, I put another uh, wire mesh there. There's my winch, light bar, uh, trailer hitch. I got uh, something planned for that, but if I want to move around trailers, I could be able to. Move around trailers if I want, or use that for a tow bar or something. I put 
Fenders on in the front. Uh, it's my foot pedal. Foot throttle, as you guys would say. This here is my throttle cable that's inside a solid line. It goes all the way up. I don't have nothing hanging. Uh, had issues with that. I found out this is the best way to be able to run a th uh, foot throttle. You don't have nothing uh, hanging, no wires, uh, no cables, no nothing. I do have a video that's posted how I made that. You guys should check that out. Uh, it's a throttle cable for a mud mower. Uh, here is my for my oil temperature gauge. I have it right inside there. So if I have to change the oil, I just take that off and clean that. Uh, the front tires, the BKTs, sports, uh, AT 22 by 8 by 10s. Uh, my sponsor, which is uh, the company I work for, Tire Doctor LLC. They were able to get me some tires for it. The red tires. Uh, Kai Isles, 22 by 11 by 10, AT for 89s. Uh, I got these tires right be a week before I busted my leg last year. And I really haven't had a good chance to try them out. But I've been doing small little tiny uh, test runs with the tractor, with everything that I've been doing. And it seems like they're working okay, but... We'll see what happens. I'm satisfied with it so far. Uh, this is out of a uh, transaxle. Uh, the very first transaxle I busted in the Lucky 7. That's part of the ball gear. Uh, this is another one I, I busted. Uh, this came out of uh, from the, the Beaver Dam. If you guys seen some of my older videos, you'll see I busted that and I couldn't find it after. Uh, but I went down another day and I was able to find it, so. Uh, as your GoPro here. And I'm going to put it up on my lift and we're going to check out underneath. Uh, what am I running for the engine? The uh, 21 horsepower in tech. It's boarded over by 2%. It's so oversized pistons and rings. The heads are polished. Intake, it's a aluminum intake with the double bolt carburetor. Uh, intake's been polished. Heads have been uh, shaved and polished. I built this engine about uh, two and a half years ago. And it does not have no governor, nothing at all. Even inside does not have the governor. Uh, I took the arm completely out and just left just the shaft to plug up the hole. So let me uh, take a minute. I'll put this up on the lift and we'll check out underneath it. All right, so we're going to start with the front end. The front end is stock, but I did do a little bit of fabrication on it. And uh, as you see, the front end is a full weld, completely all the way over. Uh, grease fittings. I got on my axle. I have cross member. I fabricate on that and check this out. Just notice that steering bolts is missing. I gotta fix that before I take it back out. Let's see. Uh, as you see, everything's pretty much double walled up on the frame. This is stock frame, right? What you see right here. Then, if you follow it, it's double. You'll see it. Uh, the front end, uh, steering linkage. If you notice, I had to cut that and I added a, another piece here. And then I added another cross member there to make it that nice and stiff. And that goes up over here, which is uh, right here. And that there. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Uh, I'm running a five inch belt. I mean, a five inch uh, dry pulley in the front. Uh, running a five eighths belt. 
and I'll get that size for you in a minute. Stock clutch, pulling the back, which is that stock, just new. Uh, the belt guide I had to make it goes up, uh, trying to show you, up around, and it comes over here, holds that nice over there. This one here, this belt guide, I built that. That keeps it from flopping back and forth. Uh, this is the same belt I did the, the three minute burnout on. And as you see, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, still have some life in it, but I think I will replace that soon. Uh, I'm running a three inch pulley in the back. I had to add a pulley here with a cross member to hold that pulley there with another belt guide. And up in the front, we'll go back to the front again. Where you cut the frame, this is where the front end used to be right here. Well, as I extended it, what I did is put another cross member, keep that from twisting. So that's a quarter inch steel. Let's see. Uh, stock brakes. Little exhaust hanger. I'm running a Peerless 206 transaxle, which has been all, all rebuilt. I do have the Barons inside there. Uh, it's my uh, fabricated uh, cross member. That's one of them. There's another one. Fabricated that. You'll see how that is done on one of my other videos. It's a uh, Peerless 206 transaxle. Uh, Let's see. Let's go from this way here. You'll see how I have it set up here. And I got another brace up top. So that keeps it from twisting. And it seems like it's working really, really well. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera up here a little bit. You'll see how I have the a belt guide right there. If you look far right hand, top of right hand corner, it goes into the frame, which is connected to a bolt that's on this side here. So I undo that bolt in this piece, which is this one right here. That'll come completely right off. Uh, I got a belt guide here, one up over here. Uh, and I got another plate up top underneath the battery tray. Uh, got a red neon light in the back for poops and giggles. Let's see, I got rock light right here. Another rock light there. I got one right there. And one in the back. So I have a total of four rock lights underneath the tractor. Uh, in front of the tractor, I have one rock light there. And if you remember, underneath the fenders, I have a rock light there, one right there, and that one right there. Then I have the four inch LED light bar. If you look underneath the hood, I have a light strip there, and inside the scoop, there's another light there, light strip, and I got another light strip there. Uh, the belt size is, let's see, that is going to be Husky Belt 5 8 by 85. And I get that at Tractor Supply. Uh, you guys all know it's running a dual exhaust. And to make the dual exhaust, is basically a fence post. It comes up over here, straight out to the back. It used to come out further, but I cut the, the mufflers off because I didn't like the sound of the mufflers. I got some two uh, pull hooks here. Uh, Try to think what else a lot of people are asking about questions. So just do a rundown over here a little bit. Five inch in the front. 
three inch in the back. And when you're running a three inch belt, I mean, uh, pulley in the back. What I did is I wrapped it up, this pulley here to bring it closer this way, it gets another inch of grab. Seems like everything looks nice and tight. This is actually the first time I was able to get underneath this in a while. The only thing I have an issue with right now would be this bolt right here. I gotta look for one. Should have some in stock. Uh, that's it. That is a complete rundown with the Lucky 7. If anybody has any questions, put it up in the description. And when I lower it down, I'll do one more wrap around with the tractor. All right, guys. Well, there you go. If there's any questions, put them in the comments below. Don't forget, I go live every Saturday, Friday, and Sunday. Friday and Sundays are freedom of speech. Saturdays is a kind of family chat, clean chat. If you have any questions, feel free to come on up uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, also, I want to give a huge thanks and uh, appreciation to... Uh, Tide Doctor LLC, one of my big sponsors. They sponsored the, with the tires there, and also Manning Trucking. Uh, they're both companies uh, located out of Walpole, Massachusetts. What's up, guys? Lucky here from Lucky Seven Mumbles YouTube.com. Bottom left-hand corner, hit that subscribe button. On the right-hand side, hit that little bell. Always give a thumbs up. Place your comments if you like. Uh, what we have here is a uh, Peerless 206 Transaxle. I uh, fabricated some braces on there. Painted it red. Have a 3 inch pulley. People, you're always wondering how I braced it up. Inside, I do have the Barons. Uh, to be able to get the barons, I have a part number right here. This is the part number. So the barons are in there. It's oil filled. Fabricated this brace right here for the cross. Then this hooks up to the frame mount. Well, there's some bolts there. Angle some nice iron. Bent that over there. So the bottom has a brace. Top has a brace. In the back side, as you see, these here, they usually come smaller and it attaches it right to the frame to one bolt. Well, I did a little bit different. Welded it to my brace on the bottom. Fabricated some angle iron, drilled some holes, cut around it where I needed to. 
Put that down on this side. I know the weld is kind of shit. Uh, I was having a problem with my welder. Uh, comes up over here. Each side is bolted on the side there. Up top, all the way along. And on the very bottom I have a little tiny skid plate just to cover this uh, bell housing part right there. Oh yeah, I hooked up a GoPro. GoPro. Uh, mount on the bottom so I could hook up the, the camera and drive in nice clean trails and you could be able to see underneath the tractor. Uh, hooked up the brakes on the Lucky 7. So that's it. That's a little closer view of the transaxle that is in the Lucky 7. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button.